welcome back to my channel. Oh, going to the Dollar Tree. I have this project in mind and let me just, I have this project in mind and I'm so excited that if it'll work. I feel like you guys, I cannot wait to do my reintroduction video. I have it all like planned out what I'm going to do. It's going to be my 50k giveaway at, I'm not giving away 50k. It's my 50k subscriber giveaway. <laughs> and um, that being said, um, I'm really excited, but I feel like so many of you don't know my story or don't know my journey or don't know much about me um, because you just came recently and really just came since to DIY. So it's funny because I get a lot of people give me a lot of, st a lot of grief about why am I just doing holes and holes and holes? And I will touch on that on the video. Um, but I wanted to say, I actually like my first video was a hole. My second video, my first video might have been a hack. <laughs> so it's really funny because I actually started doing holes. And though the DIYs are more popular, and they've gotten me more subscribers. It's not what I do. This isn't Jerry Ann Henson DIY channel. Um, my goodness. <clears throat> and recently it's been brought to my attention that I am becoming unrelatable because I'm um, spending more money and not living on a budget. But the truth is I am living on a budget. Um, just that my budget has increased because my income has increased. And I hope, I hope that you all do the same. If you get more money, I hope that you increase your budget and don't just stick it all in a savings account. So there's a huge mess here. Um, it's a lot of stuff, $70 or whatever. And I'm gonna go in as soon as, as, as quickly as possible. So there are a lot of doubles, so I'll just tell you when it's doubles. Um, I picked up three of these actually. This isn't even just two. It says always be joyful and literally that's like my thing. Um, I wanted to tell you when it's coming. Um, when people say stuff to me, it's like a duck. I'm like a duck in water. It just rolls right off my back. But I don't want to affect you guys. And that's one of the things that really bothers me. If I think for a second, it will be affecting you guys. This was so cute. I don't know if he was around last year. He's actually made out of like foam. And he's fl flocked in all of this like like little hair fiber stuff and his little nose is 3d and his little berries are 3d and he's like flat he really would be perfect on a wreath but he is an ornament and he is in the ornament section i picked this up for a diy i have a really cute um rudolph watch out if you have a seizure disorder turn away um i have this really cute idea for a wreath that i want to share with you um and i got that for it i hope it works I picked up two of the white wreaths. These are 15 inches. I know a lot of you have trouble finding them. They were the only two in the store and I bought the only two in the store. I don't normally do that, but I really needed them for something coming up and I picked up both of them. Um, I found there's two of them in here somewhere. The two ceramic white apples. If you watched the haul the other day, I found one red one in the store. Um, but I was so excited to find two white ones and really this would go better in my kitchen. The red does, like I do have red accents, um, but I can't wait to add these to my cabinetry. Um, if you guys saw that Emily helped me decorate, redecorate the, um, above cabinets, you would have seen that we have some fruit already. White ceramic fruit is kind of my, it's kind of my thing. Um, just one of my accent pieces. I really like it. Um. It's funny because people talk about like farmhouse and Joanna Gaines and I, my, my kitchen has been, you know, I had, I had a goose with a blue rope, uh, ripped, uh, handkerchief around his neck back in the eighties. I'm just saying. So that project that's coming, I'm hoping that this will work. I have a few different options, but I picked up this basket for a DIY. It is the rectangle. Um, it is got the multi sized holes on the side. Um, and I picked that up. Hopefully one of them will work. I hope that one of them will work. I picked up this box of tissues. It's really cute, by the way. It's from Frozen 2, and it's got all the characters on the outside. But the real reason I did it is because I like to keep a cube tissues in the car. Um, and, you know, it's allergy season for me, so I'm going through them. But the 
Scott, which isn't like a really expensive brand, only has 64 in there, and these have 74. So I was like, you got seven, you got 10 more frozen tissues than you do not frozen tissues. So <laughs> I saw this and I never saw it. I didn't see it at fall. So it says, I love fall most of all, and it's really cute. I know exactly who's gonna get it. It's a gift. I know exactly who's getting that. Um, and then I will tell you that their Halloween stuff was all 50 cents. Um, and they had tons of stuff, but I didn't get tons of stuff. I just got a few things. Um, I do have to put some heat on because it's really cold out. But I will put it on just low fan. Um, I picked up three, well, no, actually, I picked up two sets of the hat, the wooden hat stickers. Um, I'm going to add these to my Harry Potter party stuff. I might do something... I'm not really sure everything. I have a couple of ideas pinned on Pinterest, um, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. And then they had these wooden ones that are ghosts, bats, and jack-o'-lanterns. Scary jack-o'-lanterns. And for 50 cents, I picked up the thing to make the DIY. I'm just saying, this headband and tail, as well as the Rudolph nose, is probably going to be on a wreath soon. And now it's 50 cents. I actually bought it when it was a dollar and I thought that was a really good deal but 50 cents is even better and I found these by the register it's like Jesus wanted me to have them um they, you only get nine stickers but they are beautiful they are like chalkboard drawings and they are absolutely stunning I didn't go back there's some succulents they're actually like some of them one two three four Oh, actually, all of them except for the word hello. Oh, no, hello is three-dimensional. Never mind. They're all three-dimensional. They're two-layered stickers. You really can't pick it up there. I think you can kind of see this one a little bit. This part is, like, two-dimensional. So it's like that layered sticker. That layered sticker? Um, I'll put that back. Actually, since it's a lot of stuff, I might just, just go. Um, I needed some pop-up foil this is a major repurchase i love this pop-up foil i feel like it's so much less waste i know we talk about saving money but i also am really concerned about waste i know with all the thousands of shopping bags but we would repurpose them um but you get 25 sheets in each box and they fit perfectly on a 9 by 13 foot like uh cookie sheet um if you if you make chicken nuggets for your kids or whatever it's just so much more convenient than washing them no, I'm just kidding. Um, I found the paper tray. I know a lot of people have trouble finding the paper tray. This may be instead of the basket. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but we will try both and we'll see which one works the best. And obviously I'll share with you which one works the best. Everybody is taking these tapestry placemats and making pillows out of them. And I always was like, nah, I like them as placemats, but oh my goodness, wouldn't that make the cutest pillow? It says Noel, and it's red, and it's got a wreath. And I feel like Sarah Jane at Chic on the Cheap um, did a Dollar Tree haul today. It went up today at 11, 12 hours ago. And but you're probably not seeing this until Monday. But it went up. <laughs> it went up Friday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, actually, you'll see this Sunday. Let me take that back. But she found like a placemat. Not placemat. She found a pot holder and an oven mitt with the same like type of Noel on it. I think it's absolutely beautiful and you get one for a dollar and I picked up two um, and I think I'm going to make it into a square pillow. I know a lot of people do keep these in that rectangular shape, but I'm going to keep, I'm going to make mine square. I'm pretty sure. And it may or may not be a cover as opposed to a whole pillow. Also part of that DIY um, I got this shelf expander. So have you guys seen this before where it actually like you put it in your shelf and you can put coffee cups above and below or plates or something. So I picked up one of those. Um, these were super cute and I can't wait to DIY them. The other one is here somewhere, but I picked up two of these bells. I, you know, I've got the flat ones, but these are so darling. They have like a, um, one of the pine garland ties, a little a little velvet bow and a couple of little like holly glittery holly leaves with some little uh, metallic holly berries and they had seven or eight different varieties of bells and I don't know if your store will carry them and they had them in gold and silver and red and green um, but I don't know if your store will carry all of them 
but I picked up these ones that sort of have like a band around the bottom. Um, some went straight down, some had texture. They were very, very pretty. I needed more Chanel stems, pipe cleaners. Um, we used to call them pipe cleaners when we were growing up because grandpa used to clean his pipe with them. Actually, my dad used to clean his pipe with them. Um, but I just picked up these from the regular craft section. I didn't get any glittering ones. I don't know about you guys, but when I twist wreath like pipe cleaners on, when I make a wreath and I'm twisting all those pipe cleaners, when they use the glittery ones, I feel like it hurts my fingers more. I found some of the natural edge burlap. I think there was just one and I picked up one because you always like have to have that in your supply. I almost never bought this. And then a lady found a roll on the floor and it was like, I couldn't believe how pretty it was and how I did not see this ever. So it's this really open mesh and it's so soft. Like we always talk about mesh is like so hard and mesh ribbon is so hard, but this is so soft. It's got such a nice body to it. It's very, very light. This would be absolutely gorgeous on a tree. Catherine from Doing On A Dime actually used some of the, um, the tooling, like the red tooling, and that would be gorgeous. Cause it has this have a little bit of sparkle to it. Um, I found these two Christmas candles. They really smell pretty, but I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be smell wise. Um, but they have the cutest candle cups and there's this really cute plaid. It's this really cute tartan with snowflakes. And you know, if you've been around for a while, you know that that's my thing. That's my thing. I, um, I will tell you that just like on our autumn decorate with me video where we talked about just because you have all of the things doesn't mean you need to use all of the things every year. And it also doesn't mean you need to get rid of all the things every year that you don't use them because I like to change it up. Like, I don't know, last year and the year before we had a very, um, woodsy sort of country green and red kind of thing. Um, going on an our tree and I absolutely loved it. So if Sarah Jane, if you're watching this, this is all your fault. No, actually, she's the reason I went to the Dollar Tree. She showed Hello Kitty wrapping paper. Hello Kitty wrapping paper. She's my favorite cat. Snoopy's my favorite dog. She's my favorite cat in the whole world. I am a Hello Kitty girl. Like she came out just when I was at school age, when we started collecting puffy stickers. Um, if you're my age, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but it is so cute. It's just got, she's like in the, looks like she's in a Christmas carnival land of trees and candy canes and all things. Oh, the lights just went out. It got really dark. I'm at Jimmy's job waiting to pick him up and he's just turned the lights off on me. So I will try to go faster. They have this beautiful gift wrap this beautiful gift wrap. It is like a navy blue hunter green background. Like it's hard to really tell in the store even. And it's just beautiful and it says um, hope and peace. And I don't know if it says other things. I wanna think it says joy because I see a Y, um, but I picked that up as well. And the last two that I got, I picked up more of this tartan plaid. I've had this in the past or something similar to it. Um, and I do love putting that under my tree as well. And the black and red buffalo check has got snowflakes on it. I'm just saying. It looks like it's a little bit bigger pattern than the than the one that we bought previously. Like the check looks a little bit more buffaloed. But, um, and these are super long. And each one of them is, I believe it's 30 square feet. Yeah, 30 square feet. He told me I have I had time and then he shut the lights off. So this was by the register. Somebody had put it back and I just snatched it up because I really didn't see them before. But there's these beautiful muted uh, red with s s Christmas trees and white glitter on them ornaments. And you get five of them and they're so pretty. I feel like they're about two inches in diameter each. Um, and again, they're shatterproof, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, they are. Um, they had slippers and they have these slippers that I have never seen before. So I bought them up. Um, they are like a Sherpa inside and they have little, little bitty grips on the bottom. Um, they had this one in navy blue with pastel polka dots and they had this one in leopard skin. So of course I thought of Sarah Jane with that. 
telling you, I channel her when I go shopping. Um, they also had these scarves. Now they've had lots of different scarves. This one is so pretty. It's a really, really thin fleece and it's a hot pink plaid. I'm just saying, and it's an infinity scarf. So if you don't know those, those go around and around and around. And I'm about to put it on because it's a little chilly and he turned the lights off on me. So now I'm in the dark and I look like a weirdo. And I think that it's just darling. And then these ones are like a nylon, like sheer kind of scarf as well. Not as well. Also, they have, um, they're basically like the long scarves, but they've packaged them in a loop this time. And this one has coffee cups and all the things that are too cute on a green background. I also picked up one more of the gray wood chargers. Um, it's just for a DIY. It's going to be a quick, easy, we're going to do a, I'm going to try. I like to say that, right? I'm going to try to do a um, quick and easy gift ideas. It's easy and inexpensive. Quick and easy and inexpensive <laughs> gift ideas video. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, let's see. Mom needed a small can that was deep, and I found this, and I was really pretty. Um, it says, uh, have a Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho merry bright and then something really small is written right there and i can't even make it out even with glasses on and on the edge it has all of these pretty ornaments and candy canes and hot chocolate cups yes i know i don't need it it's just it's just an indulgence so it's a mermaid sequence gold to green christmas tree pillow they had stars trees stockings i think that was it and I picked up the tree. I found the boy elf. If you watched the last haul, you saw I saw a girl elf. And I was like, do they make a boy elf? And they do. So now I have one of each. Or they make a gender neutral elf that wears pants. Um, if you watched the last haul. No. If you watched the haul from Springfield, you saw I saw these little tiny bar, lunch can, uh, lunch boxes. and But this one is just screaming me. And I actually think I have an actual cookie can in this pattern. But I absolutely loved it love it and i picked up a box of hot chocolate with the mini marshmallows this is swiss miss you get six in there and they have the mini marshmallows already and we're gonna put together some gift baskets um and because i am diabetic i don't um have regular hot chocolate usually laying around um but then when emily was visiting i was like it was a little cold for her and i was like oh you want some hot chocolate she's like yeah i'm like oh um, never mind i don't have any that was rude Okay. Um, the hard felt placemats, decor, whatever you want to call them. This tree, I thought was absolutely beautiful. If you're a DIYer who uses these for a stencil, this is absolutely the most intricate looking, beautiful pattern that I've ever seen on a Christmas tree um, from the Dollar Tree, that I've seen from the Dollar Tree. I found one of the peace ornaments in this beautiful bronze color with the beautiful pine on it. And it's got a little bit of uh, black and red gingham bow. I needed this. It's a pancake turner. I cracked mine in half. I had the one from Betty Crocker that was melamine. And when I had it on the edge of my sink and I was hand washing and I just cracked the edge right off. But this one is flexible and now it is black. So it'll probably just clash with all my other stuff, but um, Sarah Jane also shared these with me. Let me see if I have all of them in one bag. Okay, let me show you this ornament first. Santa is really cute. Santa is burlap and felt. And he says, ho, ho, ho. And he's stinking adorable. Look at his little face with his like, ooh. He's got a closed little mouth. and I mean, a closed little, uh, his eyes are like closed because he's laughing like a bowl full of jelly. His jink he's jiggling like a bowl full of jelly. Okay. Um, I found it in joy. I have them all now. There's one that says believe, one that says peace, and one that says joy. This one says joy to the world. And I absolutely love it. Love it. It really would be good on a wreath or a centerpiece or really a lot of different places. That's really cute. It says Santa stop here. This would also be cute in a wreath if you put the Santa stops here in the middle and his little feet dangling on the bottom. That would be totes adorable. Totes adorbs. 
Um, and I do have all three packs. So Sarah Jane, this is your fault too? No, I'm just kidding. She shared with me these patch pins. What? You get two patch pins per package. This one has a wreath and a stocking. This one has a candy cane and a very pretty tree. And this one is my absolute favorite. It has a gingerbread man and a snow globe. And she was suggesting lots of different things to add them to ugly Christmas sweaters. But I think that they would be a really cute way to personalize some dollar store stockings. So you get the Dollar Tree stockings, maybe the ones with the letters that you could stick on. And you can add these to them. And that would really up the up the love, the value, the, the zhuzh. It'll zhuzh it. It'll make it pretty, shush. Just, I'm just keep looking over to see if he's telling me to come get him. <laughs> he told me he would be late today, but let's see. Okay. I found window clings with the red truck. They have a fox. Red truck with a Santa, a polar bear, a gingerbread man, a penguin, a second gingerbread man, Santa in a mailbox, and then this really cute wreath with the buffalo check. Um, and it's got buffalo check accents all over, and I think they're so adorable. Absolutely adorable. I picked up these marshmallows to go with that gift bag basket that I'm making. And I have a ton of gift bags to share with you. So let's get these in a way. Yeah, I thought he was waiting for me, but he's not. Okay. He said he's going to have a lot to do tonight, so I have some time. I also found this to go with that gift basket. It says mug treats. It is a single serve rainbow chip chocolate chip um, mug cake, which I thought would be really cute to go into that gift basket. So if you, if you, I don't care if you guys want to do it before me. I don't really, I'm not like that. I'm just going to buy them and I'm going to do. And I found this cup to go with it and it's a good size mug and look at it. It's got a vintage camper on it. It has a vintage camper and Santa and it comes in its own box. So it's already wrapped. Let me pull it out real quick and show you the back. It just goes around and it repeats. Um, I just thought that was really cute and I have a best friend who loves vintage camper. I love vintage camper too, but yeah, she really loves this vintage camper. Here is the other bell. I found two more rolls of the two and a half inch wide red truck ribbon. We just used them in the DIY recently. Um, so you might've seen it there. And then these were totally screaming me and I have no idea what I'm going to do with them but they're absolutely adorable I do have like a snowman like not last year but the year before I did like my mantle was all in snowman and um and uh Santa Clauses and it's just something I used to like to do. I like to do theme areas, vignettes. I picked up another garland ties. Um, if you guys haven't seen these, you get 12 in a package. We're gonna do lots of projects with them this year, so I wanted to make sure I got another pack. Here is my other apple. This is so cute. If you're interested, I'm gonna put the marshmallows in here and it's gonna go in that um, gift basket all together. But this particular plastic jar is got Santa Clauses and snowman and little penguins and little trees and all the things around there, which I think are so cute. This candle smells so good. It almost smells like a fireplace, but it actually comes already wrapped. Um, and you got a little bit of like a little gift tag on there and a little baker's twine. It does, it smells so good. It smells like fireplaces. And I also picked up this as a third potential for the DIY that I'm gonna try. You guys are so patient with me. Well, some of you are very patient with me. Some of you are really not. But I appreciate you all anyway, patient or not. Um, now we'll just get into the gift bags. These are the last few things that I got. I found these small ones that come in a two-pack. So this is Santa in his black and red gingham 
um, little snowsuit with his reindeer pal. And on the back is a snowman with, um, he's in a woody truck with a scarf and so cute. And on the back is a snowman and they're on like a wood grain background. And then the last four that I got are so pretty and I cannot believe. First, I'll show you this one, Mary Mary. And I feel like I, I feel like people had had this, something like this last year and I never saw it. But this is sort of like a really pretty done sort of cartoon of the truck and it's coming towards you and his license plate says December 25th. But this set right here, here is Snowman in a woody truck with the tree on top and it is just beautiful and it says jingle all the way. This one is totally from my bestie. This is a light blue VW van and that's her favorite and it's got presents on the top and Snowman is driving that and this one says Merry Christmas. And finally, the last one that says joy to the world is the red truck with the tree standing up in the back already decorated. And this one says joy to the world. And I think they're absolutely beautiful. Each one of them just has continuation around the inside. So I wanted to share that with you as well. So that's everything from the Dollar Tree. Yay, we gotta go get Jimmy. So I love you guys. And um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. Anybody you know might be interested in seeing some new stuff that they have at the Dollar Tree. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. So as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.